July 20th, 1968, a hot afternoon in Chicago. At Soldier Field, a woman approaches the microphone and speaks to a crowd of 1,000 athletes. Let me win, she says, but if I cannot win, let me be brave in the attempt. The athletes listen carefully. All people with intellectual disabilities. It's the first ever Special Olympics. Made possible thanks to a pioneering woman, Eunice Kennedy Shriver. Eunice Kennedy Shriver was born into the illustrious Kennedy family in 1921, the fifth of nine siblings. Much was expected of her, even as a child. Her father had political, social, and civic ambitions for all of his children. But one daughter, Rosemary, had an intellectual disability. The empathy that Eunice felt for her older sibling would last a lifetime. Eunice graduated from Stanford University with a degree in sociology and worked for the U.S. State Department on juvenile delinquency. In 1957, Eunice became the executive vice president of the Joseph P. Kennedy Jr. Foundation. One of the foundation's goals was to improve the lives of people with intellectual disabilities. In 1962, Eunice began a summer day camp for children with cognitive challenges. There was a strong focus on physical activity. The concept of the Special Olympics sprung from this camp. Just six years later, her vision was a reality. From there, it spread around the globe, with more than 170 countries hosting various Special Olympic events. For more than five million athletes, Eunice received many awards for her work during her lifetime, including the Presidential Medal of Freedom, the Eagle Award from the United States Sports Academy, and the Civitan International World Citizenship Award. She was also inducted into the National Women's Hall of Fame, received many honorary degrees, and was featured on a U.S. coin in 1995. Eunice Kennedy Shriver passed away in 2009. She left behind a legacy of caring for those formerly ignored, abused, and left on the fringes of society. <laughs>